Now I'm going to use real dirt in my display for the uh, dirt that goes on the hill. Uh, what I've done is I've collected some dirt from the yard. Um, and I have here some 60 grit, uh, 60 grit sandpaper. Uh, it's a pretty coarse, about as coarse as you can get. And what you're going to do is you're also going to, I've got like a block of wood, or you might even be able to use a coffee cup, and just take an extra chunk of the same 60 grit sandpaper and wrap it around the block like this. And I've got a container to collect the dirt that uh, I'm done with after I, uh, after I grind it up here. What it is, is dirt out of the yard usually is pretty big. Now you want to make sure the dirt is dry. So if you get it out of the yard and you can squeeze it and form little clay balls out of it, it's still too wet. You might want to spread it out on some newsprint and some newspaper and get it to dry. If there's a little bank edge of some kind in your yard, that'll probably work a little better. If you try to dig it straight up where the grass is, you're probably going to get a lot of roots and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I want to grind this up. So i got some big clods here. So I'm just going to take this and kind of go over the top of it like this. And you can see right away that this pretty much grinds it up. Difficult. So what I've got right here looks pretty good. It's about like coffee grounds, maybe a little bit finer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and put it into a container here, like this. Now you want a good bit of dirt. I would say a good full two cups of dirt is probably what you're going to need for this project. And I don't know until I actually do it here, but I'm thinking that's what I'm going to need. So get you a couple of good sized cups of dirt from your yard and do the same thing. Pour it out here, make sure it's dry, and just kind of grind it up. Now after you do this a few times, you're going to find that once you dump the dirt off of the sandpaper, sometimes your sandpaper is going to clog up just a little bit. Well, it's not too hard to clean. Just get yourself a sort of a one and a half inch white paintbrush and just wipe over top of the uh, uh, wipe over top of the sandpaper. And uh, any that you get off here will be fine enough that you don't have to sort. You could just dump it directly into the fine dirt container. Now here's the process I use to sort the dirt. Just lightly tap it on the bottom and I'm kind of tilting it downwards this way. So this is sloped downhill. So the bigger stuff is kind of pooling down to the bottom corner. Then I'll take a spoon, I'll dip the big stuff off of the corner, and then dig this up because there's a lot of big stuff down in here. Then tap it up and you'll immediately notice big stuff starting to come to the top. So tap it around like this, tap it around like this until it starts to pool up in the bottom corner. Uh, dip that up with a spoon like that and then dig it up again dig it up again because there's a lot of big stuff that's just trapped underneath the dirt and when you tap it you'll see a whole bunch of new big stuff coming up to the top the fine dirt is more for the well-traveled areas where people have uh, uh, walked a lot and packed it down the coarse dirt is for more of the uh, unfinished areas or like near rock slides or near the edges where people don't walk a lot